morning, you guys. It's Tuesday, and I am about to head into work. I've been sick. I was actually quite sick, and I may still be sick, but I'm feeling a lot better. I am trusting my body to take care of itself, which it seems to be doing. I put in a lot of overtime last week, even though I was feeling terrible, and I've been going through... An unexpected I guess I can't call it unexpected because I was warned about this but it's a change a change I was not ready for and a change that has been difficult About 14 years ago, I had a procedure done. It's called a hysterectomy. A lot of women have this procedure done for various reasons. I had to have mine done basically to save my life. When I was six years old, my mom died unexpectedly of a cancer that attacks your reproductive system. In my mid-twenties, I was pregnant with my last-born son when I found out that I had precancerous cells of the same kind of cancer that killed my grandmother. So I gave them the go-ahead to go in when I was getting my C-section and remove the things that needed to be removed to keep it from causing any damage. just delivered there. That is public school number 14. I love seeing these old schools hidden around Jacksonville. There's actually a public school that's famous for supposedly being haunted. Public school number four near downtown. You could look it up. Lots of ghost hunters have been there. I love the Zaxby's. It took me years and years and years and years and years and years to try this place. Finally did. Uh, and I'm so glad I did. They have the best chicken. And ever since I've tasted their chicken, there's no other chicken for me. It actually has flavor. You know what I mean? Can I get the number one? I want to be a drink. I try the, the Zaxby's strawberry lime sipper. That's it. Oh, and can I exchange my Zaxby sauce for a ranch? $8.73 out the window. Thank you. You're welcome. About two weeks ago, I started noticing a change in my mood and my behavior. Drastic changes. And also, hot flashes. I can't figure out what's going on. My patience is super thin. I'm like having fits of just rage. I hate to even admit that because this is not who I am ugly it was very ugly i guess while we wait on this train i kind of forgot where i left off I was trying to figure out what in the world was going on with me and i was telling my co-worker that i'm starting to really believe that maybe this is menopause they warned me that i would have early menopause after they took that out kind of forgot about it but with all the hot flashes and the mood swings and the emotional roller coaster I thought that might be what was going on. So when I got home, I typed my symptoms into Dr. Google. It came back menopause. So I was like, that's it. I'm going through the change. I had to apologize to Ricky. I was apologizing to people at work for my temper lately and, you know, just asking for patience. 
But I also thought about something else. One and only other time I can remember having um, these fits of rage and feeling the way I was feeling was several years ago. I was working at Bush Garden. I had a day very similar to the days that I've been having where it kind of flipped out a little bit at work. My boss called me into the office and asked me what was going on and I told her, I don't know, I just don't feel well. And I didn't feel sick. I just felt not like myself with a little bit of maybe a headache or something, I think it was. Somehow I ended up at the Minute Clinic and found out that I had three infections. I had upper respiratory, sinus, and an ear infection. I think double ear infection. I had no sign. I didn't get a fever. I wasn't feeling sick. I just wasn't feeling myself. And I was having this seemingly uncontrollable anger rage type thing going on and acting totally out of character. These outbursts reminded me of that. I started to question whether what I was feeling was indeed menopause or if maybe I was getting sick. And I had woke up with a stiff neck and the next morning my throat felt a little sore and I thought it was just because uh, my allergies are always acting up around here. The next evening I decided to look at my throat because it it wasn't hurting as bad as the day before but it was still kind of hurting and it, that's you know it's unusual usually when I have allergy throat it th throat issues with my allergies it, it goes away within a couple hours of waking up so I decided to look at my throat and wouldn't you know it it was red and flamed and full of pus that was pus pockets all in my throat so I learned to pay attention to my body when I start acting out of character. I don't ever get fevers. I've never had a fever. I didn't ever end up going to the doctor because I, you know, Dr. Google said that an infection should clear up on its own within a week. If it doesn't or if it gets worse, then you go to the doctor. But my throat started feeling better after four days. There is still some pus in there but I don't feel sick anymore and I'm gonna trust my body, like I said in the beginning of this video, to take care of itself. Obviously, if it doesn't get better or if things get worse, I'll go to the doctor. But for now, you know, two things. I'm not just a, a butthole. I'm not just a butthole. I act like that when there's something going on, obviously, and also menopause. I'm done with work for the day. I'm back home now. Just waiting for Ricky to get home from the junkyard, I believe it's called. Savage salvage yard. Not sure. Getting some parts for his brother's truck that he's working on for him. So that's it for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for riding along with me today and hanging out. And I will see you next time.